Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to Vlogmas 2022. We're here for another light trail tonight. We're at Q uh, Christmas Q Gardens here in London. Looking forward to this one. Thank you very much to Sean from Seashorn Blog for yeah. gifting Zoe a ticket. Thanks Sean. And I've got mine, so we've both come along tonight for Q at Christmas. Yeah. Um, so you've got the tropical glass house behind us. We've got watercolour behind us over there. We're right at the beginning of the trail. There is some food and drink booths over there. We might check out some of those later. Some of them look very yeah. good. Yeah, loaded hash browns. They sound good. And the churros look good as well. So, yeah. yeah. We'll see once we get back around. We fancy something from there. But for now, it's time to head into queue. Thank you at Christmas. bit of deja vu, I don't know about you, but the first uh, two, I guess, light installations, the light balls and the rainbow of lights are identical to Bedgebury. Is it the same company that does them? I have no idea. If not, someone's copying one of the others. Either that or whoever is the salesman for that package has done a good job this year. Yeah, and everyone, <laughs> everyone wants them. Uh, if you've seen that, tra that ray of light thing in any other um, light trails in the UK, let us know. I do I, have to say, my the setup up. here was better than Bedgebury. Like, it, was, it was amazing at Bedgebury. But here, I think because we had quite a good vantage point, we went up on the steps of the, the tropical house, and it's like a longer setup here, whereas yeah. at Bedgebury it was wider. And then it had like the projections on the floor, and then it went onto the uh, tropical house behind. But yeah, it's exactly the same. The brand. same music, the same lights. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that was one of my favourite things from Bedgebury, so yeah. I'm glad it's here, um, but yeah. I'm just hoping that they've got the singing choir trees that Bedgebury had a few years ago. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. So we're what I imagine is maybe halfway around the trail and there is a little food and drinks kind of area. Just after the Fun fairground, yeah. yeah. Um, so there was a few different choices there. There was uh, savoury and sweet waffles. There was cluck, which was fried chicken. Yeah, fried uh, fried chicken. Yeah, there was dumplings. There was burgers. <laughs> there was burgers, yeah. There was a bar, two bars. Well, it's the same bar, but... Twice. Double. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of options. We've already passed a couple of stands um, for one for Prosecco back there, which is in front of Yeah, so very, very posh. We're going eight, up a class now. for like a small Four champagne, glass. like plastic champagne. Yeah. Flute. That's not bad. <coughs> we, the, the real yeah. test is going to be see their price of the marshmallows. Yeah, well I don't think £8 that bad, but obviously it was quite a small size, so depends where you stand on it but yeah I was expecting it to be more to be me too so yeah. yeah we're yeah who knows if we're halfway I'm guessing this might be the halfway point though I, so. yeah I'd imagine it's roughly half heading in for the real star of the show we're using a joke from last year's vlog yeah. stop <laughs> punning <laughs> you're bad at puns just oh. quit okay. your head. I am ahead of you I found the real test in comparison the marshmallow stand. Yeah, but hang on a minute, they do brownies as well. Oh, this might be a game changer. Ooh. It says everything when they don't have the prices on the price on the price list. Well, don't they say 
if you have to ask the price, it's you can't much. afford it. So the comparison, <laughs> veg brie for £1.80. Eat your words about veg brie. £1.95 for a smaller marshmallow. <laughs> One pound ninety. I mean, the flavours sound interesting. Yeah, to be chocolate fair, there was orange. a lot more choice there. They had the brownies. They had more flavours. Mince they pies, hot chocolates, hot chocolates, bit of everything. Uh, even like I think sweet treats or something they had at the bottom. So yeah. they do other stuff as well. But one pound ninety-five for a smaller marshmallow. <laughs> it's either I'm being stingy or marshmallows have got very expensive lately. <laughs> Bottomless pizza and pasta and ice cream. Oh, I didn't see the sign for yeah. that. There is the family kitchen, and this is where the Elizabeth entrance exit gate is as well. But there, we were... I've got to say, there's more entrances than I thought there were. I think there's three or four. Two, but I think, yeah. I think we passed right. three. I think, and obviously, then we've got the one that we came in as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so far, I'm loving this. Um, but we'll let you know our thoughts at the end once yeah. we finish because where we thought the trail was ended, it wasn't. It's Hit still going. going. We thought the <laughs> Cathedral Lights was going to be the end, but it's not. We're still going.
so that is us done with the Christmas at Q event. Very, very long trail. We've been here almost three hours. Yeah, and we didn't even stop at sections for very long. A few few places we did, most places we just slowly walked through. Yeah, we've been been taking so long that even this lovely loaded hash brown place and the, the churros have closed. We've been that long. It's 10 o'clock now, we got in just after seven. So yeah, really, really, really good light trail for me. A lot better than Bredbury. I was going to say, at the start of uh, the light trail off camera, we said, well, I said to you, how do you think it's going to compare to Bredbury, which at the moment is our top? Well, mm -hmm. at the start of this light trail. Um, and I said, I think it's going to be on par, maybe a little bit less. And I said it's going to be better than Bredbury. It's better. <laughs> it's better. It, it's so much better. Yeah. That was the best light trail I've done by far. Yeah. Um, lots of different. Um, light installations, some that were the same as Bedgebury, yeah. um, some that were similar and some that were completely, completely different. different. The fountain show at the end was up there as one of my favourites. There's yeah. a few favourites I think I've had tonight but that was up there as one of them. We actually stayed and watched it three times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what was your favourite section? Probably the fountains at the end um, but excluding that because you just mentioned that. Uh, to choose from yeah there is the the lights at the beginning with the tropical house and background was yeah. uh pretty good but we'd already seen something similar at Bedgebury. Mm -hmm. so again there. excluding that uh probably the lights uh or the light forest yeah so it's just really simple just white lights so it was kind of warm white and cool white just lights just hanging from the trees but because you got to walk in amongst the trees and it was all around you and they're playing, playing like Home Alone music. It's just like, ah. I, I did suggest today that we do it outside hers, but I'm not sure she was so keen on that idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, overall a fantastic evening. Yeah. Thanks Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Exactly what I was going to say. Thanks to Sean and yeah. Kaz for, for the ticket, for today's ticket there. Otherwise, I don't think we probably would have come this year. So No, and I'm tempted to come next year. Yeah. That was, I think, by the same people that did Bedgebury, um, based on, yeah, the fact they were the same shows. Honourable mention to that uh, Christmas walkway, the projections on the floor. Ooh, yeah, that, that was cool. something I've not seen before on a light trail. Yeah, but, I just remember that. There's yeah. so many bits. That yeah. So many, so many good bits. Such a good evening. The only thing I would mention is parking is a little bit of a pain in the backside. There is no parking on site, you need to find parking elsewhere. Um, but we did find that a lot of the roads nearby are permit holders between 10 and 2. And you yeah. can park outside of Just those. Just be careful because some are permit holders only. All the time. All the time. Um, uh, but yeah, some of the preferred ones or some roads have limited spaces that are uh, yeah only you do at certain yeah, times if you so. come in the evening you'll be fine yeah we parked a couple of about half a mile away um so yeah. thankfully it's not raining um so we'll have a nice pleasant walk back to the car but yeah all around a fantastic evening here at yeah. q looking forward to I'm coming back i'm a little bit gutted if i'm honest because like vegetable had my heart and now i just feel like q's taken her heart yeah anyway thank you very much for watching if you're not already following me on social media twitter is at nathan staker one instagram is at nathan staker and facebook is nathan staker 1997 sure to subscribe to the channel for more vlogmas content for more who knows what content next year um but yeah thank you for watching Zoe, where can people find you? I knew you were going to say this. And she doesn't know the British Life UK <laughs> I know on socials. Where it is, but I never post. She doesn't. So she posted on Instagram. Film, she had two film. posts in one day yesterday. <laughs> I know. I'm not sure she was feeling alright. But <coughs> it was the end of the Centre Parks trip. I was, yeah, reminiscing. <laughs> Indeed. But yeah, go and subscribe if you want. There'll be no content, but go and subscribe. <laughs> say this every time. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We shall see you real soon for our next Christmas adventure. Bye, guys.